Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really well. In this video, we thought we were gonna take you on a little road trip to a neighboring city, show you around, do a little bit of vegan exploring, see what we could find to eat. Um, but we chose exactly the wrong day to do this because a lot of roads are closed in and out of Malmö today and a lot of roads blocked off because there's a Holocaust Remembrance Conference here uh, at the moment, I think yesterday and today and for the rest of the week. So there's a lot of sort of disruption and traffic. So we had to rethink this and instead we'll just do like a cozy autumn vlog here in Malmö and uh, go out into the city and enjoy it. And um, yeah, just have a cozy day. It's actually a Tuesday, but I thought we could pretend it's still the weekend. So <laughs> pretend it's a Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I hope you can agree to this and we'll just enjoy it. But before we head out and do some fun stuff, I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. So to tell you a little bit more about Ana Luisa, it's a New York based sustainable jewelry brand and I've been working with them for a while so you might have seen them already. But what they do is they use recycled gold and silver in their jewelry and some of their jewelry is also brass that's gold plated. And uh, when they do their finer jewelry they use lab grown diamonds which is a more ethical way of sourcing diamonds and I've had some of my pieces now for more than a year and a half and they still look good as new and I use many of them on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I think mo many of you already know that I especially like their earrings but this time they sent me two rings one that's a smooth slim ring and one that's a twisted ring which it has an opening so that you can adjust it and play around with it. These rings are both great for stacking. I love to wear them sort of on top of each other. And they also sent me a really lovely necklace, which has a twisted chain and then a little pendant with a hand holding some flowers. And I really like the look of this and I'm so glad they sent it to me because it looks really nice, I think, stacked like this with my Margot necklace that's also from Ana Luisa. As always, you can use my code GOODEATINGS10 for 10% off their whole range if you see something you're interested in. And I'll leave all the links and information in the description box as well. But now I think we should show this jewelry a good time. <laughs> and I actually already showed it a good time with breakfast this morning and we filmed a little bit of that. So here, that is.
like you saw, we had the most delicious mushrooms on toast. I think if you saw the last video, you know I'm on a mushroom kick. It's autumn and it's such a lovely autumn food. And uh, I'm also super obsessed with grapefruits now. Uh, when Rob's parents were here, we had a lot of ruby grapefruits for breakfast. It feels like such an old school thing and I've never really eaten grapefruit, but now I want to have one almost every morning. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. And now I thought we'd go to the market and do some grocery shopping because our fruit and veg department here in this house is lacking a little bit at the moment. But now I'm looking out the window and it's pouring down with rain. It was so sunny with blue skies a minute ago. I don't know what's going on. This day is a little um, uh, different to how I imagined, but I'm sure it will all turn out lovely. But yeah. Let's uh, give the shopping a go and then take it from there. We're definitely going out for lunch, so that will that will be fun anyway. So yeah, let's go. such a good feeling to stock up the kitchen and have things to cook and eat. I always feel like I'm setting myself up for success when I stay on top of my grocery shopping. And we got some really nice uh, veggies and fruits from the market and from the grocery store. And we also bought a bunch of like um, canned beans because it's so convenient and such a great staple food that we always have at home. And I also got a little treat these chocolates. It's from the brand that makes the bar called Vigo or Vigo, I guess. I think it's a German brand, but these are like pralines and they're fine hazelnut and chocolate. No, fine hazelnut chocolate pralines or pralines. How do you say that? I don't know. <laughs> and I haven't had these for like a couple of years. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them, but these are so good. I just wanted to show them to you in case now, well, I hope I've imprinted this image on your brain so that if you see it, you'll, you'll know what it is and maybe you can try it too because they are so yummy. I'll show you. 
So they're just these little chocolates. They don't look all that fancy, but they taste really good. And we have had these as like a little treat on the table at Christmas before, and uh, everyone loves them. Mm. It's like new, mm, well, we call it nougat here in Sweden. But it's not that stretchy nougat, but like the chocolate nougat. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. It's so good. I'm actually at the moment feeling quite raw and exposed um, because I am going to have my period soon and I don't often speak about this or I've never spoken about this but um, lately I have come to know that I um, suffer from PMS like it took me until now I'm almost 32 to realize that that is why I feel so crappy so often and uh, to feel that I can cut myself some slack on days like this and to also do things to make me feel good like eat a little bit of chocolate which I do anyway but I think it's good to know that you can be kind to yourself when uh, your brain is sort of going haywire so I just wanted to lift this a little bit quickly maybe we can talk more about this some other time but yeah I think it's important to talk about PMS because I really feel like yeah, it took me until I was 30, 31 years old to realize this and to uh, find good information about PMS and how to deal with it. So yeah, I just wanted to lift it quickly. And now I think we should head out again and have some lunch. This is a, a cutting yourself some slack time going out to have lunch, but it's such beautiful weather and we really need to capitalize on that. Um, here in Sweden at this time of year because we never know when it gets grey again. So let's go out and enjoy the sun.
So we're back home now and we thought we'd be able to chat to you a little bit outside, but there are helicopters everywhere outside today. So it was very noisy and uh, we just decided it would be too noisy to do it for you outside. So here I am now recapping what we did because we went out to try this new place called Boru or it's not new, but it's new to us and they make sort of deconstructed sushi bowls as you saw. But when we got there, it was full of people and it's very small inside with very few seats. So we decided to wait a bit and walk around uh, and come back later to see if we could get a seat because it's pretty cold. So we didn't want to sit outside. So we walked to the park, which if you've been watching videos on this channel for a while, you will have seen before probably. It's Slottsparken and Slottsregården here in Malmö. And um, yeah, we love this park. It's so beautiful in all uh, seasons. And even if you've seen it, I hope you enjoyed it anyway, because it keeps changing. And uh, yeah, we, I really enjoy filming all the plants and the flowers and the trees. And especially now in autumn, everything is so beautiful and the light is so low, which makes everything so charming. <laughs> Anyways, we had a walk around the park and then we were really hungry. So we headed back to Boru uh, and uh, we had some bowls. And by then we were also really cold because today is probably one of the first days or the first day where it actually feels cold outside. It's one of those crisp autumn, early, well, not early winter. Come on, we're still in autumn. <laughs> but one of those um, first crisp autumn days anyway. And uh, we had our sort of deconstructed sushi bowls. They have three options for vegans, which I think is really great, all with different uh, combinations with tofu. And we had the spicy bowl and the miso bowl, and they were both really lovely. If you are here in Malmö or if you're visiting and go there, we definitely recommend the spicy bowl. It was our favorite. And it was just a lot of different sort of quick pickled or pickled uh, vegetables, nice marinated rice, marinated tofu, and uh, the one had kimchi, the other one had like grilled pineapple, and both Rob and I love sort of fruit with savory food, so that was really yummy. Uh, so we definitely recommend that I can link the place down below if any of you are interested. Um, but now we're back home and while I said before that we were sort of lacking in the veggie department, fruit and veggie department, we do have this bowl of apples that I got in a sort of bargain bin or discard bin at a supermarket here in town. Uh, they were selling a big um, bag of them for 10 crowns, which is like less than one pound or a little bit more than one US dollar. And um, they all had little scuffs or little marks or, you know, whatever makes people not want to buy them. So I bought it thinking that I could make some applesauce. But then when we came home now, we sort of feel like having some fika. Uh, and uh, I like to make this dessert that I've made here on the channel before. I'll see if I can put a card in for the video here. Um, that is sort of stewed apples with some cashew custard, I guess. And usually I make a kind of crumble, crumble muesli granola thing that goes with it. But I actually have some granola already made. So I thought we could make that dessert. It's very simple and very yummy. And uh, we would love to have it. And I hope you will want to try it too. So I'll link the recipe down below if you want to. But uh, first we just need to cut some apples. So let's do that.
So as you can see, this is a super easy dessert or treat to make. And I know this is more of a vlog, but I can't help myself cooking in these videos, I guess. Um, and I love to eat this or make this and eat this in the autumn because it's apple season, at least here in Sweden. So it's like the perfect dessert to make this time of year and a great a way to use up apples that have gone a bit soft or have some spots or uh, yeah, that aren't super yummy to eat just raw because some apples can be a little bit floury or whatnot. And then this is a perfect dessert to make with that and you won't notice that. Um, and yeah, we're just having some oolong tea with it. We're gonna sit here and chill and watch some TV. Um, in the autumn, I always have like a craving to watch cozy series, cozy films, familiar things that give me that feel good feeling. So at the moment, I'm rewatching Gilmore Girls for about the hundredth time. And I don't think the series has aged all that well. I will say that, but there's something about it that is like cozy. I think it's how they deal with the seasons and uh, yeah, I just crave it in the autumn. I don't uh, watch it with a lot of attention. It's just relaxing. And also at the moment, I don't know where you are in the world, but Great British Bake Off has started again. It's one of my all time favorite series to watch. And it always comes out in the autumn. And so does Strictly Come Dancing, the British. Um, British Dancing with the Stars or here in Sweden we call it Let's Dance and it's my favorite or both of them are so I'm <laughs> I'm also watching that um, maybe you can let me know in the comments down below what kind of um, seasonal series you like to watch or if this resonates with you at all maybe you have some tips for me these are my tips for you <laughs> anyway and uh, I think we're gonna end this vlog here we're both pretty tired. I don't know what happened, but um, for some reason Rob sort of fell asleep on the sofa after we came in from having been out. And uh, yeah, we're just going to chill for the rest of the day. And thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this kind of a video, kind of a relaxed vloggy video with a little bit of this and that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget that if you're interested in any of the Ana Luisa pieces, then there's a discount code for you in the description box. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Like I said, thank you very much for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.